All right, y'all, TCB, the country boy, coming back at you from Big D. I want to let y'all know that I do not put any advertising on this particular site, but y'all do know that I do real estate. So at the end of every one of the videos, if you want some more information on how you can make some money, if y'all know of anybody that has a house or y'all see a vacant house on y'all street and y'all find out who they are that owns it and if they want to get rid of it and don't want to jack with it anymore, look at the video at the end of these songs and contact me. And if I buy it, I give you $1,000. Simple as that. All right, let's go on to this. All right, y'all, TCB, the country boy, coming back at you from Big D. Um, y'all know that I go see a lot of movies all the time, man, and uh, I'm not going to disappoint you again. But uh, this past Friday, I went and saw that um, Captain Marvel movie. And, man, let me tell you, um, I, when I was watching all the previews, man, I tell you what, they got superhero movie at the superhero movie at the superhero movie at the superhero uh, movie coming. So, I mean, dang, I mean, it's like these uh, movie studios or whatever. They have latched on to this superhero thing, and, man, like 90% of all the movies coming out in the next couple of weeks is, like, all superhero stuff. So, you know, they're going to make their pound of flesh when they see dollars. They're going to jump all after it. But anyway, I went and saw this movie, Captain Marvel. Um, initially, I didn't know that Captain Marvel was a chick. Um, not to say that I'm going to be a superhero feminist, you know, negative feminist against them as a superhero chick. But I didn't know. So I thought we'd check it out. So I went and saw the movie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer now and let you, uh, let you check it out as well. And then I'm going to tell you what I think after that. All right? So, here we go, check it out. War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. We have no idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. All right, all right. So anyway, um, you saw the saw the clip. Um, initially, like I said, I thought it was like gonna be a, a chick flick superhero movie. No, I didn't think that. I'm just saying. But I wanted it to be believable, and you know what? It was. Um, it was kind of like Spider Man. You know how Spider Man got bit by the spider? Well, this kind of thing blasted, and and and, and this 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 kind of uh, machine blasted and gave her all these superpowers. So. She could, like, shoot stuff with her hand. It wasn't like she was, like, doing the karate stuff and the fake stuff, you know, where a lot of that stuff is unbelievable. But um, kicking everybody's ass, especially when it comes to aliens and stuff like that. No, nah, man, you got to have some superpowers. But anyway, she did, and she was very believable. I liked it. She was very cool. Um, man, the show was cool, man. It was worth it. So I'm not going to give in away any of the plot lines or anything like that, but... The bottom line is, was it worth seeing? 
Hell yeah, it was nice, man. It was I, I, it was a long movie, but you know what? There wasn't one point in time in that movie where I was bored, where I was thinking of something else, where I was rambling or wanting to fall asleep. So, you know what? If you ain't got nothing to do this weekend or next weekend, go check it out, man. It was worth it. It was damn worth it. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Check this out, guys. My boss man said that we could actually give you a thousand dollars, and this is how. All right, y'all, TCB the country boy. I want to give y'all a little update real quick. Um, you know, I've been posting some stuff at the end of these things, and I let you guys know that I did real estate. And man, you guys really came up strong, man. So strong, I got to make some changes because so many people have sent me information. Um, as far as vacant properties in their neighborhood. It's just way too much stuff, man. Dang, I can't even keep up. But So my boss man said, look, here, we got to make a change, but I'm going to make it better. So here's the deal. Anywhere in the United States, if you guys know of somebody who has a property that they want to get rid of, it's got to be a single family, regular house, um, in a decent livable neighborhood, and it's a basically a decent conditioned property it can't have no big old hole in the roof and you know water flying in and and mold damage everywhere or a burned out kind of a thing and it's got to be a decent or almost in decent livable condition and if we end up buying that house i tell you what we'll do we'll give you a thousand dollars just for giving us the hookup if we buy it that's it man simple as that thousand dollars in your pocket man damn that's it anywhere in the continental u.s so that's the deal man i appreciate y'all Man, we got so many people that sent me over houses, I couldn't even keep up, man. Damn. Be careful what you wish for, because sometimes it will come in the form of a tidal wave. And that's what happened, y'all. So, there we go, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Let's keep this bad boy going. All right, y'all. I'm going to give you my email address real quick, which is also on the About page. So, if y'all know of any houses, or y'all have family members that have houses, or hell, if you've got houses, you can deal with me, man. We'll hook it up, man. All right, so... Let's get on to this fun stuff, then we can get we can do some business and some fun at the same time. So there you go, y'all. I appreciate it.